Hello guys, my name is Rodrigo Banzato, I am from Tonka 3D and first of all, uh, sorry about my English, I'm improving every day so I will try to speak um, very easy with you, okay? So I will introduce you to the Unreal Engine 4, the, the big project from Epic uh, now you can use it, this engine for $19 per month um, so uh, if you start a new project now you uh, have the option to choose what kind of uh, uh, projects you want maybe you want a 30 person, maybe you want a top down game I will choose uh, for example um, the side scroller you also have this option the blue print first person okay if you click here now you can put a name in your project here you select the the folder where you want to save it okay and click in create project I will open um, a project I have here let me show you some uh, some difference about the UDK and UDK it's the the free version you also can uh, make money and make games with the UDK all right but Unreal Engine 4 is something different and it's so cool uh, the the effects here are so much powerful I will show you um, some elements here for example uh, I will show you the step by step uh, how I'm, I'm manipulating the, the, the engine with uh, uh, the right mouse button present, I can look around. With the scroll, uh, the middle scroll mouse button, you can zoom out and zoom in. If you click the left mouse button, you can press double ASD and travel. Oops, sorry. Clicking the left mouse button and holding, you can go come here clicking the right mouse button you look around and with WASD you can travel in the world like I'm doing here like if I was in a game uh, flying in the environment okay as you can see we have some little difference here um, for example the icon of the player start uh, is a little different the position of the, uh, the the things are a little different it's mu uh, much more easy now okay uh, for example um, you have this list here you you don't have more that icon to, to find the, the, the things in your scene so you can select here uh, sometimes uh, in the past it was very difficult to select uh, the elements now uh, every element is here okay uh, let me fly here a little bit and let's see this if you want to play the game you just click play and you can test your game okay let me press ask let me go here here we have a cube you can select this cube you can for example click in materials and you can drop let's say I will drop this metal br metal material here and let's uh, play as you can see look at the the how the reflection is this is a much more advanced material look the light and how uh, the Sun is affecting the surface the shine the specular everything is so beautiful in this engine it's so cool guys I really love this um, kind of production you you have the a text element now you can change this for example I will put Tonka 3D and here it is if you want to make uh, some logos um, by the way uh, W move E rotate R scale I can click in E and rotate this 90 degrees. I can press W and put this where I want. Okay? Let me say I want this here. 
Okay, uh, we have a, a. Let me rotate this a little, just like that. You can press the simulate. The simulate will always simulate the um, dynamics of your your game. So you don't need to play the game to see uh, the the physically dynamic movement. Okay, you can drag the textures to another part. I can take this and put here. Okay, it's very easy. The part of the brushes it's very similar and much more easy to to produce. Okay, uh, by the way, if you are not seeing the brush, the brush is here. Uh, let's see the brush here. Here it is. Let me move this to up. You can make the scale here. You can put uh, the added. You can select the hollow or no. Let me show you very fast how to use this element. You can go here. Let me let me see. Okay, let's leave this part for for another lesson. I don't want to to complicate too much the these things. Let me click open level. I will show you another level that we have here. For example, take a look on how uh, good is this metal shaders and take a look in this border. If you see, it's not so flat. Like if you put this in wireframe, you, s you will see that this is a low poly model. But here in the lit mode, you see this little curved section this is why uh, we have the normal maps and normal maps can be only uh, achieved with uh, um, a great high poly model and this low poly model so you extract the information of the high poly model and put in the low poly model like this of course for other uh, other situations you don't need the high poly model you can manipulate the normal map in your um, Photoshop program, whatever. Okay, um, let me show you some uh, objects I was doing in these days. This will be a part of a collection here in Tonka 3D. Um, so we will sell these, um, these objects and, and these lessons and about how we make this. Uh, it's the same principle, okay? All these uh, objects are low poly. If you see in the engine, you uh, you every element you click, you see the material. Maybe you want to see the material, okay? The normal here's the normal. If you click here and double click here, you see we have uh, the, that little curve on the rest arm part because this um, purple color here, okay? Uh, of course, this is a very uh, well uh, made uh, normal uh, texture. Um, there is a lot of ways to to create this normal texture. Let me close this. You can uh, double click here and see the the element here. So you can study and see, for example, the UV. Here is the UV of this element. Here is the wireframe if you want to see. Okay, uh, you can see that we have 1007 tri triangles. Okay, so for example, let's say um, for, for a common element, 3D element, uh, 1000 to 5000 it's okay. Uh, for characters, you may want to use 10,000 to 20,000 triangles for your uh, scene. Here uh, is another element that we will have in this patch. More or less 80 or 100 models. Every model with a load, load uh, level of details. It means that when the camera is near, you have more triangles. When the camera is far, you have um, a few uh, triangles to optimize. 
here's a, a character I will, I'm sure I will use this character in the engine very soon here's a, um, a, a low poly model I did in this case we have 2004 three uh, triangles uh, because these areas I, I, I had to, to put a little segments here but uh, if you see this in bright resolution this is very nice okay the unwrap is very well done uh, I will include a, a video tutorial with the step 0 to 100 of how I do this, uh, this model in high poly low poly and how I put this in the UDK software okay uh, here is another example of a low poly uh, model ready for V-Ray because I will put uh, files ready for V-Ray and files ready for UDK so in the UDK you just need to open this uh, package and it's everything done you don't need to make the setup and correct the light no it's everything done for you and um, here is another situation uh, these uh, little parts are not uh, from model for from the mesh it's from the normal texture okay that's why important uh, the normal texture here again the same situation everything here is low poly and here is the normal textures to create this type of deformations let's go back here and let me open uh, another file here First, let me close this. Let me go here, file open level, and click here. You'll see that uh, you have uh, some very cool particles. Of course, you can select the particles from here. For example, I can drop this here, and I have another situation a smoke here. Okay, let's. Uh, go back here let's press simulate we actually can see how uh, is the the simulation of these uh, objects by the way uh, this is theory are very heavy there's no problem in the simulation let's put the lit mode let's click play okay um, you have the sound of the file, you have some other visuals here. Let me press ask. And um, we have so many cool features in, in this engine that uh, I, I really need to study a lot to understand. But uh, one thing I can tell you is that this is a blueprint. This is not only a mesh, okay? If you see in the name of blueprint, it's kind of, of a, a link between the light and the mesh. Uh, what does this mean? It means that I can click here and change the force of the light. As you can see, we already have the, the, the radiosity information working and and so it's about uh, a link something like this I can move to here move to here so one time you set up this it's okay it's done you don't need to worry about position lighting uh, whatever you just go here and make uh, so many copies you want okay guys it's a very good feature the blueprints for the particles, uh, you have the particle here. You, if I click here and let's create a blueprint, for example, if I was creating a new thing here, I can click uh, here and see the scale, see some elements. For example, I can put the smoke here, so we have a very good smoke. You can scale this, of course. I can put five. It will be more taller. All right, guys. Um, well, I think uh, this is a good introduction of uh, the things of the 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 engine. This is very good. The simulation. It's very nice to see these particles beating in this floor. 
Of course, uh, some icons are changing. Here is the fog, Atm atmospheric fog. You can manipulate here the, the the things. Okay. So I hope you like, guys. There is. Uh, let me ask this. There is so much uh, information that we must study, but I I am sure I will have. Uh, a lot of materials in Tonka 3D in, in the future to share with you. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.